Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do what is called an isometric drawing which looks something like this and this is a replication of this joint here which is a finger joint which is often used in woodwork. This finger joint as you see has interlocking fingers which when glued together give it real strength. It's important for you to know this and it's important for you to be able to draw it accurately so you can then go on to describe its strengths and weaknesses. So. Let me introduce you to isometric paper first of all. And what you'll notice, hopefully, is that there are vertical lines going from the top to the bottom, and there are diagonal lines, diagonally this way, diagonally that way, but actually there's no horizontal lines. So that's the horizontal. I do not go horizontal. It's just vertical and diagonal, either diagonally that way or diagonally that way. Right. So, if I have a quick look at this joint, I want to replicate that in a sort of 3D view. First thing I'm going to do is this line from, from top to bottom on this edge. So, using a ruler, I'm going to use a pen to make it really clear for you. Uh, you'll be using a pencil, and you can follow along and do as I do. So, roughly in the middle of the page, you want to find zero, and then on one of the vertical lines, on the vertical lines, you're going to go down six centimeters like that. Okay, that's about 60 millimeters. Okay, so that's vertical and it's staying on the line. Once you've done that, you're going to do two diagonal lines that make a V shape at the bottom. So something like that, staying on these guidelines, the diagonal ones, and that. Doesn't matter how long these are, just approximately like that. So you've basically got a big arrow now. Then at the top, you're going to repeat the same thing. Again, find your diagonal lines. Don't go off the guidelines. Like so. And again, you end up with a sort of big, a big V shape at the top as well. Right. So what I've drawn now is actually I've drawn this. I've drawn the top and I've drawn the bottom. Right, the next step is for me to draw this line along here to there. So what I do is get my ruler and find the diagonal lines again and I'm going to draw from approximately here all the way to there. It's going to look like that and okay, you're going to be following along in a minute. So that's this line here all the way here. The next line I want to draw is this one, which is going to stop there. So again, on the page, approximately there, make sure that's lined up on the guidelines. It's going to look something like that. Now, the next step is these interlocking teeth. Now, this looks quite complicated, but it's actually really simple, as long as you follow these instructions. First of all, go to this point here, and... You're just going to go down two centimeters vertically, okay? So that's 20 millimeters to that point there. And once you've done that, which is this section here, yeah, you're going to do this V shape. So it's going to go diagonally down and then diagonally back up. Diagonally down and then diagonally back up. So I'll just go to that edge, diagonally down, and then diagonally back up. I've got another V shape there. Again, no horizontal lines. See, nothing horizontal, it's just diagonal and diagonal. Once I've done that, I'm going to go... I'm going to go down here, this line here. And again, that's two centimeters, so put it on there and then go down two centimeters, or 20 millimeters. So it's going to look like that. And then I just repeat this process of a V shape, diagonally down and then diagonally back up. Diagonally down and then diagonally back up. And then the last thing I do is this line here, straight down. And that's it. Now we're just gonna imagine these pieces of wood disappearing off into the distance. So I'll just draw some wavy lines to make it seem like they actually go on forever. Okay, now to make it really clear, it's a good idea to then shade in uh, just one piece of the wood. 
Okay, so for example, I could do this part, this part, and then the top piece. And then um, I would just do um, this side as well. But I want to avoid this bit, yeah, because actually that is that bit of wood. So what you'll end up with is something that looks like that. Okay, as you see, that's quite an accurate 3D replication of this joint here. See, it comes apart, that one's darker, that one's lighter. But I don't want to show that in my drawing. Okay, so golden rules. Only vertically and diagonally, there are no horizontal lines. Okay, give it a go. Try step by step.